What is up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 14th Objective-C tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about something called a nested for loop. Now you already know what a for loop is and what a nested for loop is, is a for loop inside of another for loop. So why would you want this? Well, we already made a program with a for loop, no big deal. But what if we wanted to run that entire program, let's say, three times? Well, what we need to do is put it inside another for loop with a loop count of three, and then it would run that entire program three times. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this, and I'm also going to be teaching you guys a couple other cool tricks as well. Or maybe I'm not. I guess you guys are going to have to wait and see. Uh, we first need that int variable called user num and this is going to store the variable that the user enters of course and now let's go ahead and make our outside for loop so we want this entire program to run three times so what we would do is put int a and set this equal to one and now what we need to do is put a is less than or equal to three in a plus plus so now whatever we put inside this loop is going to run three times you can put an entire program inside here and that's what we're going to be doing so and don't forget I don't know if I told you this or not maybe this is one of those cool tricks you can declare a variable which means give a data type right inside um, the loop de declaration so you don't have to put in a up here and then a equals one you can do it all inside the for loop and now with that being said inside this for loop whatever we put in here is going to run three times so let's go ahead and put our program ns log and inside of put we'll make this program a little bit different put enter a number and we will print it that number of times so for example let's add an explanation point if they enter five it's going to print out five 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 if they enter three it's going to print out three 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 not only print that number but print it that many number of times pretty cool huh and now after this we need to give them a way to enter the number so we know that awesome scan f function from last time and they are going to be enter integers and of course put enter or ampersand sorry and then put user num so whatever number they enter is going to be stored in the variable user num and remember these two things are going to be repeated three times so far so now after this we can go ahead and make a for loop so go ahead and put for int we'll name another variable b so we really have three variables in this program user num the counter for the outside for loop and the counter for the inside for loop a and b respectively so now we'll set this equal to one to begin with because you pretty much do it every time and you put b is less than or equal to user num and this is going to allow it to print it out this many number of times so now after this go ahead and put b plus plus and now since we don't have multiple lines of code we only have one line we don't need curly braces curly braces are only needed when you have a block of code and a block of code means more lines than one when you don't have a block of code and you only have one instruction then you don't need um curly braces around it but you can it's optional so let's go ahead and put um, let's just go ahead and print out the number ns log and put an at sign and put percent i and user come on us user num and I got to blow my nose one second and I'm not going to pause it either Where's my hanky? Where's my hanky? Here's my hanky. Yeah, it's gross. I know. And you guys are like, Bucky, are you going to edit that out? Well, obviously not because I'm really lazy and I have a runny nose. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, game time. Alright, so now, I mean, our program should work fine. Let's go ahead and run this and see how it does. Save it, and let's see. Enter a number, and we will print it out that number of times. So let's go ahead and under 4, and it says 4444. Four, four, four. 
it runs the entire program again. Enter a number and we will print it out that many number of times. Um, six. Six, 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 six. Enter a number and we will run it that many number of times. Two. Two, two. And now our program, the entire program exited with status of zero, which means everything went well. So let's review one last time what this did. We have this inner program here that is really simple. It says enter a number, we enter a number and it stores it in the variable user num. And then what it does is it loops through that many number of times printing that number each time. So if we entered five, it would print five, 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 five. Pretty boring, but it's a core concept. It's a small program. And what we did is we took that small program and we encapsulated it in a bigger program that ran a set number of three times. So now if you have like three different users, they can each do the program once, or if you have one user who wants to do it three times, this is how you do it. So again, this isn't really a useful program that you would use anytime, but it demonstrates the possibilities of a for loop, check this out, a for loop inside of another for loop and why it can be useful. So later on we'll be using this and it'll actually be useful in bigger more complex programs. But for right now I just wanted to demonstrate the concept to you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my next video. Oh and check out my blog too. It's pretty flippin' sweet.